Hi everyone, it's Jennifer from Fiberflux. In this video, I will show you how to crochet the butternut squash neck warmer. For this project, you'll need a 9 millimeter crochet hook and one skein of Lion Brand's Wool Ease Thick and Quick. I use the solids, which are about 106 yards per skein. And you'll also need two buttons to complete your neck warmer. The finished neck warmer measures about six and a half inches wide and 26 inches long. To begin your neck warmer, we'll put a slip knot on our hook and then we'll chain 19. To make a chain, wrap yarn around hook and pull it through the loop. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, and nineteen. This is our starting chain. You want to do it fairly loose so you don't make the bottom too tight. To begin our foundation row, we're going to work a V in the fourth chain from the hook. This neck warmer is worked in an all over V stitch. So this loop here does not count. One, two, three, and four. So in this chain right here, we'll work our first V. The V stitch in this project is made by working a double crochet, chain one, and a double crochet. To make a double crochet, wrap yarn around hook, insert it into the chain, bring up a loop, wrap yarn around hook, bring it through the first two loops, wrap yarn around hook, bring it through the last two loops. Next we'll chain one, and then we'll work another double crochet into the same chain. This is our first V. Skip two chains and in the chain after that work the next V. Double crochet. Chain one and a double crochet. Skip two chains, one, two, in the next chain, work another V, double crochet, chain one, double crochet, skip two chains, one, two, in the next chain, next V, double crochet, Chain one, double crochet, skip two more chains, one, two, in the next chain, double crochet, chain one, double crochet. Skip two chains, one, two, and in the last chain, work a V in the very last chain, double crochet, chain one, and a double crochet. This completes our foundation row. You should have one, two, three, four, five, six V's across. To go into the next row, 
we're going to chain three. One, two, and three, and turn. The V's in this pattern are stacked, so we'll work the next row of V's into the center of the V's from the previous row in this space right here. We'll work the V's in the same manner. Double crochet, chain one, and a double crochet. So as you can see, the V's are stacked, one on top of another. So we'll keep going across the whole row, work a V into the next V space here. In the pattern I refer to it as the chain one space, because there's a chain one in between each V. Next V, you can see how the V's are stacked. Work another V into this V here. We're working a double crochet, chain one, and a double crochet. Next V. Double crochet, chain one, double crochet, next V, double crochet, chain one, and a double crochet, next V, double crochet, chain one, and a double crochet. To finish off the row, you'll work a double crochet right into the turning chain space. And that finishes off our row. To continue with the butternut squash neck warmer, you'll just work the row we just completed over and over again until you get the length you want. And mine measured 26 inches long. That was a good size, I thought, to wrap it around the neck. And when you're finished, you'll just weave in the ends that remain. And you'll sew the buttons on and I'll show you a picture of that, where to sew them. I wanted to also mention, there are no actual buttonholes in this pattern. Instead, you would use these decorative holes that we've created, these lacy holes from the, all the V stitches. And before you sew your buttons on, you'll wanna pass them through one of these holes to make sure your buttons are neither too big and can't fit through the holes, but also make sure that they're not too small because if, if they're too small, they'll just kind of fall through and your, your neck warmer won't stay attached. So be sure to do that. And then I just used a little bit of uh, extra yarn at the end and a tapestry needle to sew mine on. And that's it. That's the butternut squash neck warmer tutorial. Thanks so much for watching and be sure and click the red subscribe button to get all the latest Fiber Flux video updates. Thanks again!